GSG presents Waiting Wednesday. I'm Mark Sudonk with GSG. We're seeing a trend lately about special effects printing is really coming back to place in the market. So today what we're going to show you in the applications lab is how to achieve a high density print using Aviant Infinite Effects Sculpture Base. We're also going to use on this for the orange color, we're going to be using the Aviant Wilflex Rio RFU Bright Orange. So let's go on press and we'll show you how it's done. All right, for our first screen, we're going to use Rio RFU Bright Orange and we're gonna use a 195 mesh screen. We're gonna use a single durometer 70 squeegee. We're gonna run this at about 40 PSI, enough to really clear that screen. And we're gonna do about a 15 degree angle. We're gonna do two passes, we're gonna flash this. And then the next thing is gonna be our high density. For our next screen, which is gonna be our high density, we used Kiwo Thick Coat Emulsion. We coated it multiple times, and this is gonna give us our 200 micron stencil, and that's gonna be the thickness that our sculpture base is gonna be after we print it. So we used the Aviant Infinite Effects Sculpture Base. We added 5% of the Wilflex Rio Mixing White to it by weight. We're gonna use a 60 durometer squeegee at about a 20 degree angle. We're gonna do a little bit harder of a flood on this. So instead of the flood bar traveling above the screen, we're gonna push the ink lightly into the stencil. Since it's a really thick stencil, we're gonna lay down a lot of ink. We're gonna print this, believe it or not, at zero PSI. So there's no printing pressure. We're just gonna use basically gravity, pull the ink down through that stencil. So the squeegee is just enough to put it in and when the screen lifts, it's gonna leave that high density print. We have our off contact in the front and the rear set at a number four. So that's gonna determine the distance besides the thickness of the stencil, it's gonna help to determine the thickness of the ink deposit that'll go down on the shirt. Now that we have our first layer of the Avian Infinite Effects Sculpture base down, we did two print strokes. We're gonna flash it, we're gonna do two more print strokes, and then we'll put it through the dryer. Now we're gonna run it through the dryer, a standard cure of 320 degrees, which is not gonna affect the Rio, even though Rio is low cure, it's considered flex cure, so it'll cure between 270 and 320 degrees. So there you have our high density print using Aviant Infinite Effects Sculpture Base that we just added 5% of the Rio Mixing White to, and we printed this right next to the Wilflex Epic Rio RFU Bright Orange. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more information on Avian Inks and the full line of Infinite Effects specialty bases, visit gogsg.com. And thanks for watching.